This is Coogan Cassius for the Cassius and Helder Show here on Box Nation. With me, I've got Ovil McKenzie. How are you, Ovil? I'm good, brother. The one and only Ovil McKenzie, the upsetter. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Um, a slight postponement. You were meant to be on the witness bill, which was uh, cancelled uh, a couple of weeks ago. You're now fighting this week, York Call. So just a couple of weeks out for you, and you're going to get the fight with Askin. Well, that's not a problem, you know. It's just a little setback, but, you know, work out in my favour because, at the end of the day, I did have a bit of a call. I get a bit of call like, over the weekend, so it work out in my favour, and it's like hometown at the minute, London, York, called Bettenham Green. Like, take them back to back home, brother. <laughs> so, in a way, does that suit you? I know it's a couple of weeks, obviously. I don't know, you have to sort of peak your training so it's just right you've obviously um, set your training out for the witness show it's just a couple of weeks later and you're fighting so you just control that don't you yeah everything is all right brother like i said you know i'm the upsetter and i use the stuff like this things like this set back and 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 and, and get up back again pick myself back up again it's all good all all right all work out in my favor and you know and i'm strong and ready can't wait for the 27 you all call Bettenham Green. I think that's the best. I think that's a better place than Witness anyway. So I think you know it's a home show, and and that's how it should be. <laughs> well, I spoke to you before. You know, we sort of joked that you'd never heard of Witness before, but you'd certainly heard of your call. Your call, your call is the place, man. I can't see a better venue where this fight should take, which should take place, and and I know it's going to be a, a rumble in the jungle on the night. You know, we got. The, big platform there, we've got people on top of us, people sitting at, at the inside as well, so I think the venue is a good venue for this right tier of fight. What do you think of Matty asking as a fighter over? Well, he's a good boxer, good puncher like myself, and 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 on the night you're going to see who the better man, the better man telling you know, on. I. I ain't gonna take nothing away from Matty Asim because he's a fighter that take up the, that step up to the table and, 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 and agree to fight me and and God bless us both on the night, brother. Obviously you won't be overlooking uh, Matty Askin, but overall, you know, you've got world title aspirations surely, haven't you? That's what I'm saying, you know, this is what I mean. Matty Askin is just for me this is just a step in my way towards the world 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 championship and 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 if I can't beat Matty Askin there's no point of me trying to go for a world title fight. Might as well let him do it. You know what I mean? So I'm not taking, not say, not taking away nothing from him. I'm just saying, if I can't beat him, he's the man meant to go for the world title because I'm trying to call out Captain Hook and, and man who have the world title belt. And that's, those are the those are the limit where I want to go. You know what I mean? I want to. I want. I know I can do it. I know I can go away and bring back a world title shot to Britain. And that's what I want to do. That's my aim and that's my plan. We've talked about the likes of, uh, you'd love a fight obviously with Marco Hook, uh, probably the best cruiserweight in the world. Um, we spoke about a third fight with Tony Bellew before. These are the sort of fights that you're interested in now. Yeah, those are the fights because at the end of the day, you know, I want to prove myself to the world and to Britain so I can, I, I have what it takes to, to go away and bring back a world title fight to Britain. And so uh, these are the men who I want to fight. Tony Bellew, you know, it was good to see a third fight because at the end of the day, the second fight wasn't a good fight. The first fight, it was a bit, uh, you know, but I know the fans would love to see the third fight and if, it, if that can happen, mark a hook it is, you know what I mean? How did you rate Bellew at Cruiserweight from the fights that you've seen? Obviously, we saw a Cruiserweight fight between him and Nathan Cleverly last year. How did you rate him and his power at Cruiserweight? Well, I tell you, Bellew always have power. He's a, he's a good fighter as well. And, and me and him fight, both of us fight together. That would be a good fight. You know, I give him maximum respect. And I, and I hope he does give me maximum respect as well. Because in a day, we can make a good show together. Both of us together make a good fight, a good TV show. And good fun fight for the public. The public will love it all the way. You still believe, overall that there's cruiserweights or whatever out there that don't want to fight you, point blank. They don't want to fight me because I have, I got power like I, I look like a heavyweight, you know, and I know I got that in me. I know I, got, I know I can look like a heavyweight and at the end of the day, I've been trying to get these fights, but still, they don't want to fight me. I'm a natural light heavyweight and, 
and I still can't get fire cruise away. I don't know what's going on in business, but you know, I think the fans, the fans want to come out a bit more to real fight, not not just friends and 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 community guys. They want to come out back to the Chris Eubank fight and the Roy Jones. Them, you know, some good fight. You know, good fight. I want to, you know, that's what I put in. When I come to the table, I perform good. I am a good entertainment. You know, everybody's on the feet. People's excitement is on. It's like a rumble in the jungle. <laughs> uh, now, over obviously, I know you're uh, going to do a little bit of training now. Uh, do you want one last sparring session before uh, your fight against uh, Matty Askin? Because I'm available today, only today. <laughs> All right, then. We're going to get strap up and ready in a bit. Then we're ready, ready. I'm ready for you in the next. 20 minutes to get ready, brother. I can get you can only use one hand. <laughs> All right, then. I'll let you off. Yeah? I'll let you off, brother. Listen, I, I punch just as hard as you. You just don't know. We've seen you fight. You've not seen me fight yet. I bang just as hard as you, Oval. Don't worry about that. Well, brother, like I said, I don't think this is a business for you, brother. I think you should stick to the business what you do best. And let me stick to do my business what I do best, brother. <laughs> All right, I think we can leave that one there before I talk myself into something that I can't get out of. Um, listen, Oval, best of luck this week at York Hall. Uh, cracking bill. Like I said, it was already a cracking bill. Now you and asking added to it has just added to the flavour. So best of luck, my friend. Respect, brother. Nice one. And I'm telling you, main event, I can't wait. That's the one. <laughs> asking, I'm coming for you, brother. <laughs> Thank you very much.